It's the end of an era in Aussie retail with Woolies now stopping change of mind refunds. The supermarket giant now says that if you take a product home and change your mind, you can no longer bring it back and get a refund. Instead, the 94-year-old company suggests sharing the unwanted products with the elderly and vulnerable. If you change your mind or purchase the wrong product, you can still exchange it for something else <coughs> in the store. Coles made the change in March and Woolies says its policy brings it into line with current supermarket practice. Robbo! I've never actually returned a product to the store. I've never gone, oh, wrong product. I don't want it anymore. I'll take it back. I've just lived with it. Yeah, but maybe you, you have the, the financial capabilities to do that, where you, you go out of the shop and you go, oh, bloody hell, I've no, bought the probably wrong thing. Just if too I go lazy. back and I... <laughs> all that but either or no no i would suggest you if you were if you were in the financial position to be able to do that you're not you, you, yes you are lazy but if you were not in the financial position to do that you're not lazy so you actually go and okay all right yeah, no, um, i was laughing, you actually I was laughing go... just because you're so funny because uh, yeah well, you're not used to us laughing everyone. at your jokes robbo is that what happened there <laughs> There was no joke there. That, that's the problem. There was no joke. <laughs> Let's bring it back. This is a serious issue. Serious issue. So, okay, fair um, enough. I, I think it is a Come big on. thing that uh, where it, when people can't return something. So there was a story where a woman had bought the different, you know, box of Coke. You know, the, the 20 cans were on special. She bought the 30 cans. She bought them back and, you know, she was told not to. Uh, but in, in, in the end, she spent a lot of money on extra cans that she didn't want to. Whatever, right? So that's fine. But when you're dealing with a company that made almost $60.5 billion in revenue uh, in the last financial year, you've got to ask yourself, is this the right time to bring in uh, a, you know, a policy like this? We, yeah. The policy of changing your mind has been around for decades. Um, if, you know, if you've done the wrong thing, they're happy to do it. I don't know that this is the right time for a $60 billion company to be saying to Australians, hey, you know, now nah, we're going to get rid of that, uh, you know, that policy and just deal with it. I think it's wrong. Uh, ben, what do you think? I think that I like the ability wait, to wait, return wait, why things. Why is Joe laughing? Because, why is Joe laughing? Because, I thought I was being really because serious, I think Joe. I cannot wait to respond. I think that's wrong. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, great. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Really, good, good, good. Okay, really good. quickly before we let Joe say her thing, I was going to say I like to be able to return products because every day my partner goes to the shops to buy the same drinks that we get and he still gets the diet version. He never reads the oh. labels. He's like... And it literally makes me so upset because I can't have the vanilla, nella, 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 lean or whatever it's called, the fake sugar. It makes me feel really nauseous. So uh, I have to go and take model. it back. Yeah, it's gross. Anyway, oh my God. Joe? It, it really puts in perspective, you know, the people that are going through the <laughs> Rob, no houses. I knew he was going to say that. Really put, Mute him. It really puts in perspective thoughts Mute and him. Joe, I want to hear what Joe has to say. Sorry, sorry. Joe, well, between sorry. Ben's partner, who is unable to obviously read when he actually gets there, so Well, maybe he's trying to tell Ben actually, something. <laughs> I got my husband a special sniffer. Like he will sit there and he will stand in an aisle and we can't buy something until he's worked out the special here, the special there. I, honestly, Robbo, if, if it was you, when you walked into a supermarket and you just grabbed what you wanted and then you just went and paid for it, when you got home you realised how much you paid for it, I'd understand. But even the people who are sitting there and working out their budgets, the prices are there. So you actually have an option at that point to, to actually choose yeah. what you're going to choose and to work out what you're going to pay. And if it's too much at that point and you've worked out you paid $20 extra for a box of Coca-Cola, there should be some little you know red flag going off in your mind that actually that's not the one that you really want. So I think this <laughs> yeah. was actually partly put in to stop all the panic buying. So uh, you know, it comes back to common sense, ah. which is the other, isn't always common. It's a Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Shen, Rob and Rob, oh.